Guys, it is uh, Friday, October 18th. I'm here at uh, Peru Peak Shelter um, in Vermont, uh, about four and a half miles into my day. Uh, just stopped here for a little break. Um, we got about 10 more miles uh, to go today to get into Manchester. Um, yeah, I haven't up updated in a little while um, because I haven't been hiking a whole lot. So I pulled into Killington and uh, when I got sort of turned away at, at Mountain Meadows, I started calling some of the other places that are there in town to stay. And uh, I called the Inn at Long Trail and they said, yeah, come on down. Uh, you can tent across the street by the trailhead for free. Um, so I made my way down there, and uh, sure enough, man, that place is great. I, I wrote in their hiker register that it was hiker heaven. Uh, but yeah, I ended up staying there for three days, uh, tenting uh, outside and then sort of just kind of hanging around the lodge um, uh, during the day, utilizing their Wi-Fi. Uh, because I was able to arrange a shuttle, well not a shuttle, a ride from um, Bennington down to the Berkshires uh, from uh, my coworker Sylvia at the ATC who's going to be up in Bennington today. Uh, so I kind of had a few days to kill and I figured rather than, rather than um, hike on to Manchester and probably end up paying to stay somewhere, I would utilize the fact that the Inn at Long Trail lets you tent, tent for free um, and stay there. Oh, plus, uh, so I've, I've been uh, having technical difficulties uh, fairly frequently with these videos um, recently, and the majority of the time it's, it's related to the fact that I have um, a lot of pictures and video stored on my phone, which I use to... Uh, used to record these videos um, and I sort of needed to deal with it and there was nowhere where I could buy an additional SD card uh, around Killington uh, maybe there was in Rutland but I preferably would not would rather not have to buy that um, so what I was doing over the course of those days while I was in Killington was utilizing their Wi-Fi to uh, sort of upload like 30 plus gigabytes of pictures and video um, uh, up to Google Drive, so um, so yeah, that was great. Uh, took a long time, but but was able to get it all up, freed up a bunch of data and or space on my uh, on my phone and SD card. So I think I should be good for the rest of the way. So hopefully, technical difficulties will be at a very 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 uh, low frequency of occurrence from here on out. Um, but yeah, yeah, I had a great time there. Uh, the hiker box there was awesome. I guess uh, a couple of women were um, planning a northbound through hike of the Long Trail and made it made it somewhere near the Inn at Long Trail, and they had bought all their backpacking food in, uh, ahead of time, and something happened, and they had to end the hike early. So instead of taking all that backpacking food home with them, they uh, they brought it all to the inn and dropped it in the hiker box there. So man, it was laced with all sorts of good stuff. I got um, like jerky out of there. I got a uh, bunch of tuna packets. I got um, some dehydrated ground beef. And uh, I actually combined that with a nor rice side, like a butter and herb rice side. Combine the two of those and then split it between the two um, dehydrated refried bean bags that lady sent me in that mail drop and used the tortillas and made burritos the other night and it was so good. Uh, if One of the best, if not the best, uh, trail on meal on trail that I've had thus far. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, yeah, it was cool, and I got to watch a bunch of football because I just happened to be there on Sunday and Monday, so that was cool. Um, and then on the last night, uh, southbound uh, long trail through hiker Chris, uh, who actually just happens to be at this shelter as well, uh, he <laughs> stayed here last night, and he's he's uh, packing up, getting ready to get out of here. He's shooting to get just a little bit past uh, Manchester today, uh, and I sort of was 
telling him some good things about Spruce Peak Shelter. I remember I passed through there earlier this year when I was working, and it actually has a slide shut door and a wood wood fired stove. So you should have a good time there, man. You should be nice and comfy. Sounds good to me. Yeah, and it's got uh, <laughs> inside the shelter. It's got like a like a table and and. Uh, there may, there may already be wood inside the shelter. I don't see why people wouldn't just keep wood by the by the stove. So yeah, that nice should be <laughs> should be good for you, Bat. But yeah, Chris, uh, the last time I was there, we were just kind of hanging around and and uh, started chatting and and I pulled the the patent hiker maneuver of of weaseling my way into a room. And I was like, hey, man, if I gave you a couple bucks, think I could crash on the floor in your room? He's like, yeah, sure, no problem. So I actually didn't have to sleep in my tent the last night, which was good because it was wet. Because, uh, uh, yeah, it had sort of been raining the night before, I believe, and, and plus the condensation was building up. And I, the last day I'd anticipated on hiking out, but uh, the uh, different pictures and video hadn't fully uploaded to Google Drive yet. So thank you very much for that, Chris. That was cool, man. Yeah, that comfortable, comfortable night indoors, plus the three days I took off, fueled the uh, the 20 that we did out of Killington. So that yeah. was good. And uh, was that your first 20 as well? Uh, second. Second 20. Second 20. And then today, last night was my third. Yeah. So yeah, Chris <laughs> is uh, um, hammering out miles with me, and uh, we'll probably be going our separate ways today, man. But it was good hiking with you. Yeah. And, uh, well, hopefully come back next year and do some more. Yeah, uh, there's a very good chance I'll be up here again next year, um, rocking and rolling, looking for invasive plants. Oh yeah, I found, uh, for the most part, when I when I was surveying uh, the southern 55 of Vermont for invasive plants, I didn't find a whole lot, and it was really, really nice hiking. I literally crossed like one paved road the entire time um, between the Mass border and, uh, and Manchester. Uh, Yesterday I found the honey hole for uh, for invasives. It's right in between. Um, it's by north the North Clarington uh, Clarington uh, road crossing. There's like a power line right away, and there's um, like a pasture or something there. And man, there was just multi floor rows as far as you could see. And uh, what else was in there? There was other stuff. There was. Um, Buckthorn, big, big buckthorn trees in there too. I don't know. Learn. Future self, remember if you survey that area in Vermont, there's there's a bunch of multi flora rows there. You're welcome. Uh, so yeah, uh, coming out of here, I'm going to do this last ten today and uh, and uh, hit Manchester and and try and find my way into town and then. And then I actually have to, just like the AMC has a shuttle through the whites, um, uh, the Green Mountain Club, I believe, is who organizes this. I don't know. There's there's a shuttle that runs from runs around Vermont, um, but there's one that goes from Manchester to Bennington. So I'm gonna catch that once I get to town, and um, and uh, meet up with Sylvia. And uh, then ride down to the Berkshires, I think either tonight or early tomorrow. Not really sure. And then, uh, then I'm going to start just south of uh, Salisbury. I got one 15 mile day. And then I'm meeting up with D.B. Cooper. He's going to pick me up and sort of blast me ahead of my last hole. I'm so glad to be done with these, these sections that, that I have to skip past. And, and I'll just have nothing between me and Virginia but, but open trail. So. Uh, yeah, once DB picks me up, he'll drop me back, and then I cross into New York the the next day. So, so I'm very excited. Uh, looking forward to getting south. Maybe it'll be a little bit warmer. It's kind of cold here. Uh, it's been rain rainy at night the past couple of days, but it's been pretty nice weather to hike in. I'd say it's in like the high 50s, low 60s during the day, and then. Uh, you know, gets down into the 40s at night, and it's kind of been rainy for the past couple of days. But yeah, it's a pretty nice shelter. I don't know if you can see the the brook or stream down there flowing. Pretty good view. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this video, hike on, and uh, I'll probably I'll probably uh, update once I get down into Connecticut or something like that.
All right, y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.